All who play games must at one point learn the ways of the blade, whether you're spending time with a fighting game or an RPG. We generally favor the sharpest swords with the best stats, but over time, certain specific weapons have become about much more than numbers. To build our ultimate arsenal, we excluded swords that are mass-produced, so energy swords and lightsabers, while undeniably badass, are too common. These 10 gaming Excaliburs are one of a kind, or are clearly exclusive to a given character. Many with names befitting their grand legacies. Number 10. Sword Familiar. Symphony of the Night is a game with many, many great swords, but none of quite as much personality as the humbly named Sword Familiar. Gather, brother soul blades! At first, your flying friend seems rather lackluster. It just floats nearby, occasionally attacking, but more often missing an enemy or two. But before long, your trusty sword friend levels up. He gets a couple new looks, a few new moves, and even lets you equip him. Not to mention he has glitches, which can push him above 200% or get you infinite money. The sword familiar is more than just trusty steel. He's a trusted companion, and many of his finer qualities could be completely skipped. Number 9. Masamune. Though frequently used in Square Enix RPGs, the name Masamune predates the game's industry by about 500 years. Named after one of Japan's greatest swordsmiths, the blade has appeared in multiple Final Fantasy and, of course, Chrono games. It's rarely a weapon your character just stumbles across, and forging or discovering it is a milestone. Other entries on this list gain notoriety for tying much closer to the game's actual plot, but the Masamune's relevance has never been lost on those who know where it got its name. Especially Frog. Number 8. Blade of Olympus. The Blade of Olympus is an integral part to the God of War mythology, even more than Kratos' trusty Blades of Chaos, and pleasantly changed up the combat in God of War 2. Zeus originally used the blade to banish the Titans to Tartarus, and then later to trick Kratos into losing his power. More importantly, it's responsible for the most pivotal deaths in the franchise, most notably Athena, Gaia, Zeus, and Kratos himself. With enough destructive power to kill gods and titans, the Blade of Olympus should be feared by everyone. Do you see, gods of Olympus? Do you need more proof than this? Number 7. Monado. Referenced even in the game's title, the Monado lies at the center of Xenoblade's plot. As the people of Bionis fight to defend themselves, this mysterious weapon is the only thing they can count on to defeat the mechanized soldiers raiding their cities. The game's protagonist, Shulk, is the only one who can truly wield it, and as he gains more experience with the blade, various techniques unlock to use in battle. However, its most notable trait is the ability to show glimpses of the future, giving Shulk foresight on the events ahead and allowing him to avoid devastating attacks in battle. Number 6 Squall's Gunblade when it comes to multi-purpose weapons, nothing kills two cactars with one stone, like Squall's Gunblade. It couldn't actually be used as a gun, but nailing the timing on its critical hit by triggering the gun really made Final Fantasy VIII's battles feel dynamic. Now a mainstay of Square Enix games, appearing in Final Fantasy XIII, Crisis Core, and many others, our hearts still rest with the original. Few things felt as good as hitting R1 and unleashing Squall's Fury. Number 5. Frostmourne. Prince Arthas Menethil was already on a downward spiral when he traveled to Northrend and squared off against the vile Malganus. There was no turning back when Arthas pulled Frostmourne from its pedestal, which read, Just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the spirit. 
The chilling tale of the Lich King cannot be told without mentioning this icy blade, and its legacy lasted for six years until 10 or 25 max level adventurers could finally put Arthas to rest and shatter the instrument of darkness to pieces. There are many swords in the world of Warcraft with wicked stats, but none have felled a kingdom like Frostmourne. Number four. Kingdom Key. Behind every locked door is a world of unforeseen adventure, a tenet personified in the Keyblade, the weapon of choice in Kingdom Hearts. Wielding a Keyblade is not for the weak of heart, as evidenced by the original Kingdom Key, a weapon intended for Riku, but instead bestowed to Sora when the former succumbed to darkness. The Kingdom Key is distinguishable by its silver blade, crown shaped teeth, hilt bow, and Mickey token keychain. Though they may just look like snazzy accessories, each unique keychain serves a purpose. It is through each chain that the blade's true power is harnessed. If you don't think the Kingdom Key deserves its ranking, you must be heartless. Number three. Buster Sword. It's near impossible to think of Cloud Strife and not picture him holding the iconic Buster Sword. But the sword's origins trace back even further to a man killed by Zack Fair, who was then entrusted with the blade as a symbol of honor. When Zack was eventually gunned down, he passed the sword and its legacy to Cloud. Even though it's not the strongest sword in Final Fantasy VII, it's undoubtedly the most personal weapon. It's a symbol of hope and dreams, and one of the few blades any Final Fantasy fan can name on sight. Number two. Soul Edge. Soul Edge is not just the only weapon on our list that has a game named after it, but he's also the antagonist of an entire series. That's right, he. Soul Edge is sentient, and more importantly, evil. He's been driving men and women to commit horrible deeds for hundreds of years, and true to his nature, can drain your HP if you actually use him in a match. The fact that we almost think that trade-off is worth it is a testament to both the in-game and canonical allure of Soul Edge's power and it certainly solidifies his position as one of gaming's greatest swords. Number one. Master's Sword. Also known as the Sword of Evil's Bane, this blade is usually the ultimate tool in Link's arsenal. It is a weapon that only those deemed worthy by the gods can truly wield, and is a blade that evil ones can never touch. The Master Sword arguably is the most recognizable weapon in all of gaming, and one of the coolest looking blades we've ever seen. First introduced in A Link to the Past, the Master Sword plays a vital part in each game. It gave Link the ability to travel back and forth between time periods in Ocarina of Time, served as a seal against Ganon's powers in The Wind Waker, and is the only force strong enough to break Zant's curse that transformed Link into a wolf in Twilight Princess. Without the ancient relic, despite all of his heroics, Link would probably come up short in his quest to defeat Ganon. For it is with the Master Sword in hand that the Hylian hero always strikes down the Dark Lord to restore light to the world. Number 